caffeine overdose. You know what I mean? That'd be pretty good. Could we put like explosions in there? And shit? Yeah, yeah, explosions. And then like white girls in black dresses and then black girls, girls in white, white dresses. dresses. Exactly. Yeah. Would you own a gun? Would I own a gun? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't want to because then it's like you have to use it. So right. why would you have it? Right. If you didn't want to use it, you know, everybody at work wants me to get a gun because mm-hmm. everybody at work has like concealed carry. So right. it's like just like a bunch of like people on their computers, like with like guns on their hip, which mm-hmm. I find just weird. Right. You don't look like a gun guy, though. Like, I can't picture you with like a K-47. Like, no, nah. that's the one I would get. I know. But like, I, I can't see you with that. I see you more like a like a bazooka. That too. Yeah. Like, RPG, yeah, I don't like, want a pistol. <laughs> like, what is a, you know? Like yeah, a pistol, a pistol is like for somebody who's like, no, I'm like ready to like kill right. somebody. You know, and it's like you're really gonna just kill like eight people, and then you gotta reload. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. yeah, but we don't kill. That's just it's like a gun would be cool for like an apocalypse. Yeah, but I also don't necessarily see an apocalypse happening. Right, right. You know, right. I'm just mostly scared that like one day we're gonna wake up and like the Chinese army is going to be like knocking on your door. Like, <laughs> let's go. Like, let's come go. on. The time has come. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? You've been, been, you learn Mandarin, You've been u- using our computers, eating our f- shrimp fried rice for yeah. too long. Right. We need retaliation. Nah, I can see that. You would get a gun. No. No, I'm against guns. You are. Okay. Yeah, I'm against guns. But I feel like in America, it's too late for that. It's too late to do oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So Well, the problem is, is like you want to protect your house right. right, from robbers. But if everybody was just not robbing, you wouldn't need guns. Mm. But then if people don't have guns, then they freak out. Plus, yo, I would be real. Right. Like, I, I never seen like a, like an Arab with a gun in America because that's yeah. what we're going to take. <laughs> They're going to think that we're like. Egg. The bad guys, you know what I mean? Like, there's no patriotic Arab. Imagine, like, my friend, America first, you know? Like, just yeah, sitting yeah. there with the fucking with the turban and the yeah, and yeah. the and the and the, the the you know, like in Call of Duty. Yeah. Okay, Call of Duty, right? An American soldier, they're coming with freaking army suits, helmets, marined out with the freaking black uh, thing under their eye and yeah. shit. And then the Arabs are running around with AK-47. Yeah, they got like sandals, <laughs> flip-flops on, and like a robe. Yeah, a little turban. They're like, Muhammad, God, Like, bro. That's what's funny, too. It's like, yo, the American army is so badass. It's like, these guys don't even have helmets. Right. Like, and it's just badass. like, yo. And I'm like, Call of Duty, what the hell? Like, the new Black Ops. I'm like, bro, we don't walk around like that. Like, I get it. It's hot. It's the desert. But we got uniforms. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, uh, man. But I mean, yeah, you can't have an Arab in a, with a gun in America because that's just too on the nose. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Imagine like a work. like a a Confederate Arab. <laughs> like, like, what? Like they want like slavery or something? <laughs> Not. <laughs> well, Confederate isn't a thing anymore, is it? I mean, there there's Confederate flags. I've seen them. Yeah, but they probably also like hate black people. Uh, right? Isn't that what it means? No. So there, there's like a history behind that. I mean, now it's associated with that. I heard they actually had a whole war about that. Yeah, the Civil War. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. Sure. But I think the whole it's point crazy. of the Civil War was just like over slavery. I think, yeah, I think so. But there was there was more to it that we had. It was like over a girl. Like, yeah. It was like, oh, that was small. Like, the president of the union had like, you know, it was like, you know, effing. Robert E. Lee was like, oh, hell no. Like, that's my that's my girl. <laughs> that's my girl. He's you like, know? we're going to have to run the whole country on this. Yeah, people would do some crazy shit for their girls, yeah. That's an emperor move. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you you remember that movie Troy? Or like, you've ever seen like Hercules or something? There's like always that one girl. She hooks up with the other emperor. And then, like, all these dudes, like, enjoying their lives, they're like, get a helmet, get a sword. It's like, we're getting that girl back. <laughs> yeah, Like, nah. 100,000 people die. Yeah, nah. Everybody gets, like, a diarrhea, herpes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Emperors were crazy. Emperors were wild, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm Mad real. power. Yo, and there's some crazy ones out there. Right. It'd be like, yo. Like, Cleopatra, for instance, she, she, she was just like, yo. Do anything you want, like anything I want. And then if they did it, like all the guys would do it because they were in love with her. She was hot. Yeah. 
So yeah. imagine the shit that people would do for some, some coochie, you know? Emperor coochie. Yeah, it's an emperor coochie. Though. She's like, yo, I, I don't know who I love more. You, jump off a bridge. You, jump off the pyramid. Yeah. And then they would do it. Well, they all like, believe hey, in the afterlife, too, probably. So they're probably like... Doing it like, oh yeah. my god, like I, we're gonna be like slamming so hard later and <laughs> you know, falling off the bridge, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you were an emperor, what would you do? Mmm, bread, really? Like, everybody this? gets bread. How about the, what if I was an emperor? What do you think I would do if you were an emperor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like we're only allowed to listen to like disco, yeah, and uh, everybody's got to wear tie dye. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you have to dress uh, like like it's winter in the summer. <laughs> That's like basically you. I mean, it is me. Yeah, it you is know. Me. And everyone gets free like cats. Like, I don't think I've ever seen your arms. Yeah, nah, nah. nah. It's like jackets all year long. I feel like if you were an emperor, you would. Everybody would have like a a piece of tape over their mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, if, what? If you were an emperor, though, I feel like I feel like you would be an asshole, though. No, like I, I'm gonna be, be real. Mad cool. I'm no, be, you'd be, be you'd so be putting cool. them to work. You'd be like, yo, build the pyramids, do Higher. this. Yeah. Higher. Yeah. <laughs> nah, like, nah, on, I wouldn't, yo. Not at all. Nah. Yeah, yeah, so, it was probably know. hard for that not to happen, though. You know. Yeah. What man, else would you do? Right. You know, like if you want, if you were a creative back then, you were just like. All right, I want a building here, 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 and here. Yeah. And if you didn't have the resources for a building, they built fucking pyramids, bro. Right, right. Just so in a hundred years, they were like, yo, that one guy, Ray? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like a god. <laughs> you know? You thanks, yeah. That's, that's like all they could do. Because if not, like, what would they that do? Was that. It's like the one dude made 10 laws, and then the other guy made 11 laws, and then the next guy makes 12 laws. It's like, how am I going to be remembered? It's like, all right. Like, you can't own a goat. And everybody's like, we just got goats. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, no goats anymore. No goats. And then a thousand years later, they're going to be like, you remember the emperor, man? He's on to something. Nah, that's just whack. Where we got our old emperors? Kind of. I mean, there's only, like, probably a couple in the world. Yeah, like, George Washington was our first emperor. No, nah, no, nah, he not alive, though. Yeah. He didn't even want to be president. I, did he not? I didn't know that. No, he was also black, too. Yeah, he was black. Yeah, he was a black I did guy. hear that. I did hear that George Washington was a black guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like, cutting down the cherry tree and shit. Right, right, right. Like, he was a black guy. Right. 100%. And so was Beethoven. Beethoven was black. Beethoven was black, bro. And that's why, like, they didn't want to... That's why that music sounds so, like, crazy. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. He was, like... Beethoven's fifth originally had trap. Yeah, Beethoven's original Zaytoven, bro, if you really facts, think about facts. it. Facts, like... We got the version without like the trap drums in the back. It used right, to, exactly. Beethoven's seventh had 808s on it. You know, they took them off. You know, right, right. They took them off right away. They're like, nah, you can't do that. They have no Bluetooth. No Bluetooth. Who do you think that picture was? Of Beethoven? Like, yeah, that that picture of Beethoven. Because he's like this, and he's like, yeah, he was deaf though. That don't matter. Or blind. Ray Charles was blind. Yeah, but he could hear the music. Still. Is that you know, that's what it I, is? I, right? I Beethoven's know, deaf. Beethoven is is deaf. No, that's like the whole. That's why he's cool. Because they were like, no way. He wrote crazy music and he couldn't hear it. Right. I mean, it does sound like he couldn't hear it for a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah was was he's just probably like repetitive with it. Like you know, like hitting the notes where it needs to go and just remembering exactly where. Or maybe he wasn't deaf. Maybe that shit was all a lie. You feel me? Yeah, there was just all a cover up. Because he was like a black guy, they were like, no, 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 he's not black, he's deaf. And they're just making shit up. Right. <laughs> they did a new painting. That's the thing with history. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, you don't whoever know. like is writing the story, they could it's just like. His story. His story. His story. His story bro. That's it's not saying. history. It's some man's story. They're like, nah, yo, we won that war. Yeah. No, they're we like, didn't. no way. He freed the slaves. And they're yeah. like, yeah. And he was a. Abraham Lincoln. I white, guarantee the white guy. The slaves probably freed themselves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They like, like, freed themselves. And he bro. was white. Yeah. Period. Yeah. And they're like, I think Abraham Lincoln was like 160. Sixteenth black or some shit. Nah, like even more than that. No, he was one sixteen because I think his his grandma yeah, yeah, like, yeah, wave or something. Or something. 
That's why he wore that hat you all did, the time. Yeah. And his he name was he Abraham, had waves. Right? <laughs> Abraham, like you know, that's like that's a true. Middle Eastern name. Like he's yeah. definitely from. There's some something around. suspicious. Yeah, there's something like real suspicious in the hair. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. Nah, it's crazy. I think the, the slaves freed themselves, bro. And they they're probably like, did. Oh, you know. They were probably like, guys, there's a door right yeah. there. And the Civil War <laughs> had nothing to fucking do with uh, with 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 uh, slavery. Slavery yeah. at all? Probably not. Because they're gonna be like, oh, us from the north, we don't want slavery anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. Plus, there's like the letters and stuff like that. One dude with a horse, we had to like bring it down to South Carolina. Be like, the North says they don't want slaves. Yeah. You know, like. You got another year? Come here. Like, Come on. We that's want them. Yeah. Take this back. Like, by the time the war actually started, like, these slaves were already, like, 35. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is, I, I, I think that we just came up. Now, nah, we're not giving them enough credit. The Harriet Tubman story is, like, all they gave us. But, yeah. like, that was probably, like, right. the whole thing. They probably just the left. Parks. They probably just left. Yeah. No, nah, I think the slaves freed themselves. Yeah, I, really. I seriously. Give it up for the slaves. Yeah. They freed themselves. <laughs> That's real shit. Yeah, it is. They did free themselves just the way you said it. it was funny. <laughs> why? 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 I don't know, yo. They need more credit. I don't know. And yo, what about this fucking UFO in the ocean shit? Have you seen that? No. Bro, they have, not, like, they just did a whole debriefing, <laughs> and they fucking said that they found aliens in the ocean, and these fucking um, spaceships that they see, they're calling them UAPs now because yeah, yeah, they don't yeah. know what they are. Right. They're not UFOs. So they're saying that they're moving faster than the speed of sound underwater, which is, like, impossible for us humans, uh, like, from the intelligence that we have. Right. And we, don't, we can't do that. Yeah, it's like anti-gravity propulsion systems. Exactly. They're like, they're, they can, like, move in any axis yeah. as fast as so, they can. Isn't it nuts how they said this shit and aliens, for the first time, we, we've supposedly getting super close to finding aliens. Do you believe that that's true? Or do you believe it's just a, a creature from this earth? I don't think it's a creature or an alien. So what do you think it is? Us. Yeah, it could be us. It could be someone that made that fucking equipment. Well, so... Two things. One, it could be us, could be China, could be Russia, just made something that was crazy and people are testing it and then they get it. Because also a good strategy would be to say, we don't know what this is. It's an alien. Ooh, it's scary, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But meanwhile, it's Logical ours. Movie. And we're like, yo, they ain't got no idea that we're coming with this crazy ish. Right. Because eventually somebody's going to see it. Right? right, and they're gonna be like, "Yo, the military's really stepped up their game." But they're like, "No, it was the aliens." Yes, yeah, the aliens. What are you talking about? That's us. I don't or, know. Or, what if it's time travel? Mm. Because technically, <coughs> if you invent time travel once, it's always existed. Right. Could be. There's there's so many different options of what they could be, or they could just be lying to us altogether. Yeah, yeah. And everything is just bullshit that we're left. Yeah, Chicken Little was right. Like it's the clouds are falling. I mean, what would you do if an alien, like like literally a six foot four alien came down and was like, "Yo, was good." Yeah. Like it would be nuts. I don't think we'd be able to even keep peace on this planet. Imagine there. So, but my question to you is: if an alien came down, right, and she was so. Five foot three. Not six four. No, no, no. Batty. 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 Well, I'm talking, bro. She got the cake. She got the cookies. She got everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. But she was green and she had like these like crazy eyes. Yeah. That yeah. like. But everything else is kind of like a normal female, I guess. Like batty. Like 10 out of 10. Right. Butterface. You feel me? Right, right, right. Would you? Uh, she can get pregnant or no. Yes, but it's going to be like 9 or 10 or 12 kids. Oh, but only if you're not inside. Same concept. Same concept. And a condom works. Yeah. Mm. And she speak English mm. perfectly, but she had like a British accent with it. Is she Christian? Is, yeah, sure. Yeah. They, do you think the aliens believe in Jesus? Yeah, we went over this. Oh, yeah, it's true. They do. So They do. Okay, cool. So, all right, my point is. Do you exactly. think they have an alien Jesus? That too. Yeah. They, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They probably call him Sporlack or something. Yeah. But it's the same guy. All right, cool. Like you guys call so, yeah, Jesus Jesse or something, right? Yes, Shui? Yes, she? 
Issa. Issa. Yeah. Right. So it's the same thing. What are you, an alien? No. No. So I'm going to see, you know, maybe it, something happens and then, you know, I can get an alien wedding going on, right? Mm. Right. This. Next thing you know, I'm going to have nine, you know, alien kids. We're like, I got to take care of them. You know, she could be a deadbeat, no job. Illegal aliens, they're not going to pay taxes. What am I going to do? So you would do this shit. I'm going to have to wipe her up. That's disgusting. What? That's disgusting. Bro, I'm telling you, she's green and she got all this you shit. You just said on. baddie. Yeah. Every day. Baddie. Butterface. Kid. Boom. Butterface, though. Yeah, green. but then am I the first one to do it? No. Oh, everybody got their own alien. Yeah, but only like the weirdos in the world. Like, no, no, no. like the people that were, hello, wait, 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 you can't take back your answer yet. No, what? So I'm talking about like the weirdos in the fucking world, bro. Like like the animal right activists and shit. Like PETA and all of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all of a sudden they're like, aliens are not people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, no, like imagine like we start eating the aliens because they're like just a mammal and it's like mad good for protein and shit. Right, right. And then they just come out of nowhere, these fucking animal group people. And they're like, nah, fuck that shit. Like, you cannot eat the fucking aliens. They're people. And then they have sex with them. You'd be one of those people. Okay, so either you eat them or you eat them out. Exactly. All right. No, I'd probably be the type that eats them. You'd eat the alien. Before I was the type that eats them out. If she was the first one and she came knocking on my door, she's like, hey, you want to be number one? Uh, I'd be like, all right. Uh, all right, we got a ball game. That's like a reality show. My alien wife. That's good. So you would have sex with if an I was alien the if first she was one, bad. Yeah, if she was the first one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Man, that is... That We'd is start insane. a life together. No, 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 no. You know, she'd be like, come on, we got to go move back in with my parents. And I like, can't breathe. I like leave the plane. I'm like, Ugh. yeah, right. <laughs> She's right. like, you hate my family. I'm like, I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, all that. Yeah. All that. You're going to get a lot of hate from them animal right activists. Bro. They're the worst, bro. They're the new terrorists, man. They really are. Yo, they be going up to like fucking um, like Walmarts and shit. And they be like fucking getting violent and right. shit. Protesting. Uh, they be you seen the shit they did at the art at the, the museum? Yeah, they be just throwing paint and soup at things and Bro, stuff like that. They're nuts. like, you drew a dog on a leash. They're like, right, tomato they don't soup. Care about anything else in the world, all right, the crisis right. is nothing. They just they're like literally what they they're believe. like literally stepping over like homeless people to get into the art house. They're yeah. like, they're like move it, move it. <laughs> they're like, this person is an animal abuser. Right, and yeah. then there's like somebody like. Oh hell! And he just just once with one can of soup, and they're Bro. like they dump like a bucket of soup. On like yeah, <laughs> like I, I really think that they are they are a, like a low key terrorist right, organization. Right. You saw what I they mean, did to Gucci Mane, right? Nah. They, oh yeah, yeah. When he wore the um, they like pulled up on him. They're like, you wore fur, like the. That's yeah, like, yeah. That's like a, you know. You're right. No. They don't have bombs, but they pull up like they did have bombs. Right. No, they get violent, though. I've seen that's videos right. of them getting They're violent. like terrorists. For right. real, bro. That's you know? fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah. But, like, you ever see the South Park episode when they were, like, um, fucking, they were chilling in the, in the thing? Uh, for the voter die? And yeah, then yeah, Tina yeah. came? Yeah, yeah. And they just fucked everything up? Yeah, no, they got it on lock, bro. Yeah. South Park knows everything. Yeah, no, that shit's so funny, bro. I mean, they were, like, sleeping with animals and shit. Well, that's a little much. Yeah, but that was, like... But that's these South are just Park. problems that happen here. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, once you get a DVD player and a cell phone, people are like, well, what else am I going to complain about? You know? Right. You go to Thailand, they're... Eating the dogs, they're eating the cats, <laughs> right? So, like, imagine Peter showed up there, you yeah, know? Yeah, I see that on TikTok. Like, some, like, white guy will go to, like, you know, uh, wh whatever it is, Bangkok or something like that. And he's, like, buying dogs so they don't eat them. Right. Right? But that guy's kind of like a dick, you know? Nah, 100%. It's like, bro, like, somebody's like, that's my dinner. Right. I mean. Kind of messed up. Yeah. I mean, you go to other countries, again, like you said, and they're fucking doing that. It's nuts. Hmm. Now, let me ask you. Hmm. When you're a patriot, you have to be, what do you call it? You have to have a cause. You need to have a cause. You know what I mean? That's what we do here. It's like, this is the best place ever. Where? Here, America. But then people are like, this is the best so. place ever. Wait, do you but think let America me, is but the let best me, place? But let me pick out a problem. You know what I mean? And let right. me fix it. It's like, I thought it was just perfect. But do you, you think America is mean? the best place ever? Yeah. Really? I've been I've been a lot of places. You ain't go like Switzerland or like Iceland, Greenland, any of those cool ass yeah 
countries and just like vibe out there. We have like everything here. No, we don't have like the northern lights. We don't you can see the northern lights in Alaska. It's America. Yeah, but who wants to live in Alaska? But that's the thing with America. It's so big. You could fit all of like European Europe. European countries. Yeah, yeah, in America. Except for Russia. Russia well, out Russia's so huge. <laughs> Russia's so big. I don't even know why they're fighting over land at this point, bro. He doesn't need any more. It's yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. huge. It's like whooping your like little brother's yeah. butt. Like you're just like, yeah, yeah. And that too. Yeah. It is. It's like it's like you already have everything. They're like run the shoes. Let's go. Give like, me you can't even use this. It's like yeah. I don't care. Give me it. Right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Putin wilding, but you know whatever. That's why America, because it's just every state <laughs> is like a country. You know. Right. No, we don't have the Coliseum. No, we don't have the Eiffel Tower. But we got like all the the other things. You right. know. We're just so big that it's like oh, oh, oh. it doesn't seem like a lot because you're only in one spot. Absolutely. You know, no, no, America is huge. You can drive six hours. Yeah, you go to Rome. Yeah, I went to Rome. It's like okay, the the Colosseum's right there, the Vatican's right there. It's yeah. like word up. But if you're in America, it's like when I was, I was in Texas this one time, and these Irish dudes were there, mm-hmm. and they thought they were only like three hours away from New York City. They were like, oh, we're probably gonna like try to go to New York. I was like, oh, you're getting like a flight or something. They're like, oh, we'll drive. I'm like, drive. I'm like, how far do you think you are away? They're like, well, we want to see the, the Empire State of Statue of Liberty. They thought they were like, whoop, 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 like a three-hour drive from New York in like the middle of Texas. Damn, yeah. I don't wild. think they get it. Nah. Nah. He'd be nah. driving over a day. Yeah, at least if you don't stop and shit. Foreigners just don't understand. That's a Will Smith song. <laughs> yeah, let me ask you. What? I'm going to make up a language real quick. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna tell me if you can if you knew what I said. For sure. Floop floop a blue blah beep. You actually meant something though when you said it? Yes. I think it was like something like kinda like cocky. Like I get it was I but not get. Okay. Like something like I have like, <coughs> mad hoes or something like that. No. It came off kind of pretentious. No, no, but I'll give you, you know, four out of ten for that because it was I went to the store. Oh, that's not pretentious at all, unless it was like Trader Joe's or something. Yeah, and nah, I go to Trader Joe's all the time. You're mad pretentious. I'm pretentious. Uh, no, I mean I got I. You know, fleet. You know, that made sense. Yeah, yeah, no, you got that's why I said four out of ten. You right, all right. Give me one more. Give me one more. All right. Izubi Azaba Manuna. We're hanging out doing the podcast. No. Not even close. No. All right. No. It was actually, I got to change the um, the fire uh, alarm, the thing. What? This is shit called smoke detector. <laughs> yeah, my bad. He's like, you don't even know it in English. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, let me get one. Let me get All right, one. Go ahead. Go ahead. And you is how it had. Oh, hell yeah. You said, if you think I am racist, <laughs> you're right. Okay, all right. I see what you... I see what, when I said, uh-huh, that I could see how that could translate to racist. Right. Right, but I didn't say that. Uh, okay, what did you say? I said I used your toothbrush to clean the toilet. That's not true, right? Mm. Damn. We just made. We just having fun. We just having a good time. <laughs> He's actually been to my house. Yeah. Yeah, if I find out, I got stage fright on your bowl the other day, bro. Bro, you get st- you take an hour and a half to go to the bathroom, bro. What's that about? Please tell me. Like you go in the bathroom, and you're like, come on, goddamn it. You're getting comfortable. <sighs> you're fucking out. Damn. Come on. You never seen that statistic? Yeah, yeah I'd be dude. I slam it. I'm Brock yeah. Lesnar. Cock Lesnar. Cock Lesnar. But um, you never seen that stat where it's like uh, guys spend like on average like 70 hours in the bathroom a year. Yeah. But like, but it's not going to the bathroom. Nah, you'd be on your phone and shit. Not even just that, you know? Like, like I'm in the mirror like, who's the boss? Uh, you, who's the boss? You're on that. <laughs> Mom, spaghetti. Needs it. Right. Comes ahead. Yeah. I like fast rapping. Yeah, fast rapping. Mario Kart, area of art. You know? Area of art, area of art, area of art. 
So, but that's a real thing, though. Yeah. Like, you're at your girl's house, right? Yeah. It's a family party or something. Oh, that's true. And then you're like, oh, I'm just going to the bathroom real quick. Nobody really kind of sees you scurry out. You're like, I'm going to run this as yeah. long as possible. Right. You know? No, you, like, no, start, like, learning, like, the president's names. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll be Googling the most shit when I'm on the tour. I'm like, how yeah. many stars are in the universe? Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I just be seeing those TikTok um, about the, the astrology and shit, man. I just love that shit, bro. I love astrology. Astronomy. Like astrology. Astrology is your sign. Astronomy? Astronomy. Astronomy. Astrology. You're, that dude, Neil deGrasse Dyson, yeah. Tyson, he Neil would whoop your Dyson. shit right now. I mean, there's He'd astronomy so and astrology. No, no, I agree with that yeah. statement, but... If you like astrology, you're and like that's, you're like, oh, I can't come out of the house today because the moon is too far from the earth. No, it's not even like that though. I'm talking but about like learning a, about the constellations. That's astronomy. And, but that's also astrology. Well, I mean the names are the same. Yes, Capricorn is a thing and it's also a mood, right? Yeah. If I And also see, all that shit's aligned is what I'm saying. Astronomy and astrology. But I see the tic tacs about both. And it's just fucking nuts, bro. Oh, that shit kinda gives me a headache. What, the, learning about space? No, no, no. <laughs> learning about people's mood based off of space. Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah. It doesn't make sense to me. No, I mean, it, it does because we're all born under a certain star alignment. So it goes into that, I think. I think that we hit <laughs> with the hands and everything. Oh my God. It goes into that, bro. Think about it. When you're born, like you were born a month before me. And there was a certain That's why you're little bro. alignment. Yeah. <laughs> You'll always be little brother. Bro. You'll always be little brother. I think at this point, we're both unks. Yeah, you definitely. Feel? We're like 30. We got beards and shit. We're fucking. Yeah, once you're 29, you're officially an unk. Is sitting on a couch doing a podcast. Like, unk. like, what do you think you would be in an alternate universe? Do you think you would be doing this right now? I'd be like. Like in FIFA. I wouldn't be playing FIFA. I'd be like. Yeah, you'd be a soccer see you as a soccer player. What do you see me as? In a different universe. Oh, you could be something like really adventurous, like somebody who's just like wandering around, like nomadic, like a homeless guy. That could be cool. That could, would be, like, that, would be, that could be your thing. I'd be mean, listening. Is that nah, alternate nah. universe? Nah, I just see you as like a guy who plays like the saxophone, oh, and he like that. wears like a hat, yeah. sunglasses like all the time. Yeah. Thinks he's like the coolest one in the band. Yeah, it throws. But in your head, you are, so it's cool to you. Nah, I would be the coolest one to say. And then, like, you don't, the crowd is like looking at you, and they're like, why is his back turned out? It's like, right. you don't even know it's like what's going on. <laughs> you know? I don't that know. That would be dope. That's all right. Yeah. I see you as like someone that was on the Titanic. Right, but I survived. Yeah, you were like, we'll be the children first? Hell no. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. I got me work first. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. that's for sure. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Nah, nah I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I, I'm telling you, you would be on the Titanic. I don't know. It was just too cold to swim. Like, is that what it was? It was too freezing. It was like negative degree weather. Yeah, but right? today we got like ice baths. Yeah. It's like we're making a mockery out of that. Now, them. today these boats will take out a glacier easy. Have you seen these sizes of these cruises? Yeah, I don't think the Titanic was that big. Nah, no, that's like the biggest out of Ikea, water. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that shit wasn't that big. Nah, nah. nah. It's like there's a lot of successful good. people, supposedly. There's a conspiracy theory about that. That's why it went down. It's down. It was like, like kind of like the, the Titanic. Like, oh, let's get all these elites yeah. on one boat. Yeah. And, and they're then, like, you know, take that and shit. And then an iceberg will hit it. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> iceberg my ass. It was you with the RPG in the fast life. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. No, nah, no. Nah, things happen. Things definitely happen, bro. That's and cool. then it's ironic that those people wanted to see. <laughs> they wanted to see the Titanic. So they went in that sub submarine. Mm. And then they died. That was crazy, too. It makes a lot of sense. Also, elite billionaires. Billionaires. Right, right. Uh, Everything's kind of a conspiracy. It bothers me. That's why I don't think about stuff like that. Yeah. Let's not think about conspiracies. You think we're conspiracies? Yeah. I think so, too. Well, I mean, I could do whatever I want when I'm alone, you know? You don't right. know what I do. Right. It's like I come here. What if you weren't and, even you, though? What I, if, like... I might not be. What if someone cloned you, to abducted your body, the alien body that you fucked? Whoa. You, you be... Abducted your body, Whoa. and then now you yeah 
are not really Ray, but you are Dre. Mm. But what if you're not even Dre anymore and now you're Drew? Mm. Come on, bro. You've changed a lot in a year. Right. Right. Think about that, bro. I used to have short blonde hair. Bro, for real. For real. For real. I mean, I guess I wouldn't know. You know, same thing with the, with the simulation, too. Yeah. It's like everybody's like, well, you're kind of like in a simulation. Well, it's like, I feel it kind of, yeah. Yeah, no. but like, what am I going to do? You know? Bro, you're Drew now. I'm like, going to start glitching. You've been abducted from an alien that you had sex with in the well, alternate universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe you might have even been an emperor. Who knows? What? And now? Now I'm this? Now you're this, bro. That sucks. Now you're this. Yeah. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense, bro. What's your favorite color? Why, you know it? Purple. Definitely. That's my least favorite color. Hands down my least favorite color. That's my favorite color. I love the color purple. Yeah, I know you do. You know why? No. It's so cool and smooth. You like definitely like red. That's something, You're like a red That's guy. something somebody who likes purple would say, too. They're like, it's a smooth color, It's bro. dope, bro. You like red and shit. I, really know. I didn't even say what I liked. Green or red? One Green's of a good color. No, what's your favorite color? Like a like a like a dark green is pretty cool. There you go. Whoa. It's a green, bro. You are a green person. You're a vegan. You should think that's really cool. I'm not a vegan. I used to be a vegan. Right, but right. Yo, I'm telling you right now, you're a green person. No. That's nuts to me. What's wrong with that, bro? Just you're green. Grass, broccoli. You're comparing different shades <laughs> of green and different things that are colored green. It doesn't matter. Why do you you're like purple? Green person, because purple's cool, it's smooth, it's smooth. It's smooth. No, you guys have like grimace, and like uh, nothing's purple. Everything is purple. Like what? Everything is green and purple. If you really grapes, Ooh. grapes are fucking awesome. What's wrong with grapes? They got green grapes too. Nah, you see, everything that's green is purple. If you really think about it, oh, Weed. that's true. Green, purple. Whoa, like like an eggplant or something. Yeah. Kind of. There's green eggplants. There's green inside. Think about it. Everything. So that's different. why we compliment. We're so different. Yeah, we were completely different. But we like compliment because you're purple and I'm green. Yeah. I provide life and you destroy it. No, 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 no. It's not that. It's more like I bring energy and you inhale it away. <laughs> I got chlorophyll and you got HPV. No. no, no, no. It's more like. <laughs> Uh, enough of that. Every, you're wearing purple. In the comments, green versus purple. It's going to be purple. I already know. You remember that fucking GTA Probably. Challenge the only person that would like listen to this is probably high on, on mushrooms right now. Yeah, it's great. So what were we going to say? GTA what? The purple versus green aliens. In GTA. <coughs> yeah, that was like a trend. It was so fun. I never played it. But you couldn't use guns. Well, you would walk do? around and just stab each other. The purples versus the green aliens. Mm. The GTA, that shit is so funny. I never owned it. You never owned GTA? None of them. None? No. That's crazy. I played like Mario. That's wild, bro. I can't no, I'm a man of the people. Why, why, what why color I my lighter is? Purple. Yeah. I don't want to play a game where it's like just me playing it. No, you play online is what I'm saying. Oh, let's go carjack together. No, you kill each other. Yeah, that's... Then I would play Fortnite or Call of Duty. So I, I, you got the new Black Ops? No. Nope. That shit. Nah, how much does it cost? Like, free with Game Pass. How much is that? $15 a month on Xbox. And it's free? It's free, Call of Duty. And a bunch of other games. So for $15, I could play the game? Yeah. 100%. That's not bad. No. Nah. Fortnite's free, though. Fortnite sucks, bro. No. This is a bunch of kids yelling. Yeah, and I'm... Shoot they be yelling. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I don't you have to. definitely be the type to be, like, violating these kids, too. You're like, uh, fuck you, little boy. I haven't had a headset since I was, like, a freshman. Uh, remember how brutal them shits used to be? Bro, we would all get... Two, like, we would, yo, Modern Warfare 2, that was the thing. <laughs> we would all be in, like, this chat together, and then we play some other team, and they're screaming at us, like, you're, you're gay, your mom's yeah. dead, I'll kill yeah. her. It's like... Yeah, no, I still get way too real. And then I had a homie whose like parents like actually passed away, and he would like take that like so hard to heart, and he'd be like, he just created a villain, like screaming in the thing. It's kind of sad, but man, he got revved up. 
Yeah, no, nah, they, they created a lot of villains in that Modern Warfare 2 lobby. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, tell yeah. you that much. There's probably a direct correlation to like <coughs> crime post yeah. Modern Warfare 2. That was like the ultra bully central right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there'll be motherfuckers. There was people cursing at me, and I was just a kid, man. I was like, yeah, I was like 13 or something playing this shit. Right. And then they, they, there was just these kids that were like older in my school were just like, you fucking suck at this, yo. Yo. And I'm just like, bro, you guys are bullying me through a video game. What right. the fuck is this? It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, but cyberbullying is funny too, though. Like, Yeah, it is, man. I can't even. I like those memes where it's just like. I can't even lie. I like, turn it off. Yeah. You know? Nah, man. Oh, my God. They're like, you don't get it. Cyberbullying is so hard to get away from. And then people are like. And it's just like the power off button. Or yeah, like exactly. Just turn it off. That's it. Like, yeah. right, it, but, I would never be offended if someone was like really said that I don't know anyway, I guess. Right. I always well, thought it was either. funny. You just got to bring it right back. Yeah. You got to violate them back. Your mom's dead. Was there, it was like your mom had... No, nah, it would scare me when the motherfucker guys to be like, all right, I'm going to whip up your uh, uh, dress right now. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, nah, that was way too like new at the time. Bro. I never got that. I've had that. I've gotten that like on Omegle. <laughs> you go on Omegle trying to like mess Omegle. with people and then like one of the dudes is like a hacker nah, and they're like you st- start being like funny and then they're like they're like shut up I know you live on this road and you're like alright I'm gonna go yeah, I'm gonna get out of here I don't know how they do that for real yeah. yeah you know what I remember yeah? Google girth I remember fucking uh, I forgot the other name of something like Omegle is another one chat roulette chat roulette bro yeah, I know why you like that one. I didn't like it, bro. That shit. <laughs> the whole time, bro. The whole entire Yo, time. Yo, you would like, you would be with your homies. like and they'd be like, Yo, there's bad girls on this yeah, shit. Yeah, you'd I'm be like, like, and then it would just be like, dick, 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 dick. And then your homie would be like, what is this, bro? You're like, no, nah, no, nah, it's going to get cool, bro. It's about to get really cool. Dick, dick, dick. And they're like, bro, what is this? And you're like, no, no, I swear, bro. Dick. Dick. Like, that was horrible. What a horrible website. And we were all, like, 13, too. Dude, yeah. And I'm going to be real with you, yo. After waving through 74 dicks, there were some girls that flashed their titties on that shit. And, and we used to just, like, love that shit as kids. Because we were, like, 12 or 11. Yeah. We didn't fucking know anything else. That felt like an achievement. It did, bro. Time. Getting, like, these girls, like, from all... Like, and we're like, yo... What's up? Like we would talk to them for like ten minutes, and then they would show their tits. Yeah, it's it's fucking nuts. When when we were younger, that we used to like go bang on this one like uh like psychic's window. Yeah, and like sometimes she would like come to. It was like a grown woman, and she would like come up to the window and then like put her like her breasts on the glass, <laughs> and we would like we were like no way, like that's crazy. <laughs> and then like growing up, I'm like. I was yeah. like, yo, we were like yeah. 12, like 11. There's like grown woman was like, yeah, <laughs> it's got fucking disgusting. Yo, that was wild. It was like, yeah, where are we? Nasty. Yeah, but, you what know. What the hell? Yeah, what are you going to do? That's when America was America, though. Yeah, now it's America. Obama was president. Pepperoni was pizza. Tits were on the window. All three talking groups you know? are valid. Right, right, right. Now it's just everything's, you know, too much. I thought VR goggles would have caught on more, to be honest. Yeah, like that, that movie I seen. What was it? Ready Player One or something? I seen that. Yeah, that was a dope movie. I'm not yeah, it was pretty good, actually. I'm not going to yeah. lie. I'm a big video game guy. Like, I like that shit. And I, I play like baseball. them, but I just don't play them much. You don't, <laughs> play, play, them you don't play baseball. Bro, come on. Bro. I play baseball. Nah. Bro, you don't play baseball. When you told me, you're like, I play baseball, I was like, bro, you don't play. And then you're like, I was a pitcher. And then somehow, in some alternate universe, you're like, I also play football, and I was the quarterback. I was like, I was like, brother, all home true, school. Bro. Chill, chill. All true, bro. No. I played. I but played. you didn't play in high school. No, oh, yes, I did. I played baseball in high school. What high school did you go to? Palisades Park. Palestine Park? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in the Gaza Strip. <laughs> I was at a Gaza Strip. Yeah. Now, um, yeah, yeah, we could, you, could, you could plug that. Free Palestine. We've got merch. No. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> uh, we got merch. That's crazy. No, that would be good. And then you donate the merch. Yeah, that would be smart. Right. That's a good I mean, idea for somebody else. Yeah. But, um, and then, so what did you play in high school? You played football? Football. Baseball. 
I even played soccer, but I was in middle school. I was not good at soccer, and that's my favorite sport now. Right. Yeah, you yeah. do like soccer. I don't get yeah, it. Yeah. That's cool. So baseball, football. All in high school. No, football. Football. Uh, yeah, I ended it after like the first year of high school. Oh, uh, so freshman football. Yeah. Word. Same. No, we didn't have freshmen. No, oh. eighth grade, and then I think we had seventh grade, and then we went straight to um, high school in Powell Park because we didn't have a middle school. Oh, for real? Yeah. So eighth grade was high school. Yeah. But That's I think weird. I in eighth grade. I can't imagine that. Seniors would still be banging eighth graders. Yeah. You know that'd be nuts. oh, bro. I seen it. I seen a, a senior bang a couple eighth graders, and I was like, Ugh. yeah, that's wild. That doesn't make sense to me. It's like, yeah, it's you like gotta graduate. Thirteen with an eighteen-year-old is crazy. <laughs> yeah, or fourteen, whatever it would yeah. be. That's yeah. nuts. It's actually nuts. Yeah, because you start the school year thirteen, you turn fourteen. That's kind of nuts, yeah. If you really think that's about it, nuts. That's nuts. And then some other dudes are like already eighteen, <laughs> and they're like, "Yo, <laughs> yeah, uh, bro." I think you're my neighbor. <laughs> hey, all right. Oh, no, that shit's disgusting. I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, no, that's wild. Yeah. 18 and 16 wasn't bad in high school. No, 18. A bunch of people did that. Yeah, that wasn't as bad. But fucking freshmen and seniors or eighth grade and seniors. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what we had. I've seen eighth grade and seniors. And seventh grade and juniors. Like, you know, like... She, like, leaves the prom early because she got to go to Girl Scouts or something. Yeah. Like, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. She's like, but she always got thin mints on her. She's lit, bro. She's so cool. Yeah, no, no, no. We good on that, bro. The high school, man. It's a weird place. I did track. You did track? Yeah. You definitely did not run. No. Nah. No. Nah. I did the jumping. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I did the high jump in, in my... No, not the high jump. Stop. The long jump. Oh, word? Really? Yeah. Do you know how far you did it or not? I don't remember, to be honest. I was a kid. But I remember. I won first. I might still have the school record. You don't run. I didn't run. I was jumping. You didn't jump. I That's jumped. why you're so good at jumping on stage. That's why I jumped. It, this yeah. takes years of pride. That's your real passion, isn't it? Jumping, yeah. Fuck music. Fuck the podcast. You just want to jump. Jump. Jump rope. Jumper cables. Anything jump-related. Bro, Van it's Halen. you. Yeah, that's me. It's nuts. I know. Could you believe it, bro? I believe it. Yeah. I went to like a jump trainer. You was just jumping. Just jumping. Damn. Yeah, bro. I would jump for a living. It was okay. Yeah. Imagine if every dollar you earn earn from just jumping. That'd be sick. You would be a million. I got into college for it, but then I realized I was like, I'm not going to the Olympics. This is stupid. For jumping? Yeah. (laughs) You wanted to go to the Olympics? No, no, no. I'm set. Well. That's the whole point of running track, right? Wait, that's what you did? That's what, that's what you went to college for? That's what I got in the college for. I showed up to one track practice. Like a scholarship. Yeah, like they let me in because of the jumping. Wow, yeah. That's nuts. So then I get there, and then I'm like, I don't know. They were like, they're like, okay, so like, if you do this good, then you'll get to be an All-American, and then you can go to some final thing, and then this, and then this, and then this. And it, and it was like... All the way at the end of the tunnel was like the Olympics, which is like, even then you probably don't even make that much money, right? Yeah. So I was like, I'm not like, there's some dude from like Kenya who probably just like, eh, like jumps like, like, eh, like half like trying and would beat me by like a mile. So I was like, why am I trying to be in the Olympics? So I quit right away. Damn, that's wild. Put down the jumping, picked up the bong. And you were just a stoner after that. Well, I mean, not anymore, but yeah, that's what I did in, that, in college. Damn, bro. That was in Pennsylvania. You look more so. like a stoner than a track runner, or a, a stoner track runner. What athlete do I look like, though? Not athlete like Michael Rugby. Jordan. Rugby? Rugby? I look the most... No, that's yeah. not true. But those, Rugby. those dudes are like, they build like a refrigerator. Nah, bro, rugby for sure. You look like a rugby captain. All right, mate. <laughs> yeah. What about me? What, what sport do you think I would do? Uh, cricket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the motherfuckers you going on? Hey, yo, cut that, cut that. Nah, I don't know. You look like you would play. Um, 
it looks like you're good at soccer, <laughs> but you don't play in like yeah. a, an organized. Like one of those like at, like guys behind yeah. this is the fucking uh, shop right that put up like two garbage cans. Yeah, yeah. Like you're just like constantly like you can like keep the ball up <laughs> with your foot, but in a real game, like yeah, you just like, yell at people. Yeah, you're like nah, I don't know. I look like I can coach soccer, maybe. Yeah, that's true. I got the gut, you know what I mean? You have the jacket. The jacket. Why don't you throw it? Why don't you kick it? Anybody that has a jacket like that. With the Adidas, right? That's a soccer player right there. Boom. You know what I mean? Soccer. I I can't do it. I can't play soccer. I think you could be a coach for soccer. No way. I don't even know how to play. I don't know how to play either that well. Yeah, I mean, you tried to show me FIFA. Nothing. I was a goalie, though. I'm a nice goalie. I can see that. Goalie. That's yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. I'm a nice goalie. Like, even yeah. in real life and shit. Yeah. Like, I'm where, where else you'd be blocking in real life? It's just fucking cock blocking. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> just, I'm just such a nice goalie, yo. <laughs> yeah, I feel like everything nowadays is rigged. Everything. Every sport. The bro. election, sports. Bro, think about it. Like, the, yo, do you imagine if Taylor Swift section. lost the Super Bowl? Or if Messi lost the freaking um, World the, Series, the World Cup. Oh um, yeah, word. Like think about it. Like everything is raped. Did you see that new fight? The, the fight with Jake Paul and, and Tyson. Yeah, bro, that was ridiculous. I almost bet on Tyson, which, like in retrospect, I don't know what I was thinking. Bro, that was nuts, bro. It's like everything now is like marketing and shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, fucking, they don't even care about the actual fight or the actual sport. No, the whole thing is just promoting. It's promoting, and it it works because it just, it's so crazy, bro. They're like, they're like, I'm going to destroy him in this fight. And they, like, pop, like, a piece of gum. And they're like, because I I just had my trident gum, I could could defeat anybody in the ring. Right. Or it's, like, just promoting, (laughs) like. Or they're just like, yo, like, do you see how many Celsiuses they drank and shit? Yeah, like, what the fuck? They like they win the fight and then somebody has to hand them like a prime energy right, right away. They're like, I owe it all to God and prime energy. <laughs> it's probably disgusting after a fight. Like you just want water. Yeah, you, no. It's they'd like, be like, you know, we pay you to drink this yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah, they'll be like, oh. they, like who drinks an energy drink after a fight? I don't know. That's nasty. Yeah, I didn't enjoy that at all. <clears throat> yeah, we all got robbed from our time. That's yeah, that's for time. sure. The real fight was before that. He shit. wasn't even swinging. He was just, like, eating his gloves the whole time. Yeah. I don't understand why I had to see his ass, though. Yeah, that, didn't that was, that was a little, like, whoa. <coughs> There's always some freaky-ass cameraman out there. Right. I got a question. Would you rather... He's so damn. Would you rather fight Mike Tyson right. in his prime mm-hmm. for two minutes in a round right. or have sex with a kangaroo? Oof. That's tough. That's tough. How old is a kangaroo? Four. Mm. Four. Four. Which is like, I think, 20 and oh, right. you and you. Right, you got carried the number. Uh, <laughs> do I get famous for it? Yes, you'll be the man who. No, no, no! I'm not getting punched. No, no. Okay, so what if what if you weren't fam- getting famous for it? Like it was just like. Call me Joey. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, nah, I'd still probably get hit by Tyson. Yeah. As long as he didn't like break my neck and like kill me, like yeah, that'd be cool. All right. Would you rather fight Jake Paul? And or. Um, would you rather get? For, uh, fight Jake Paul or do a one night stand with Oprah? Mm. Oprah. Oprah. Yeah. 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 Oprah. Oprah. Big O. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now you get mad credit. Imagine like showing up to like, everybody's like, to all the boys that are hanging out. It's like, yo, I just hook up with this baddie. Would you guys like do this weekend? It's like, you guys are not going to believe this. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Oprah. Yeah, one night. Yeah, a night with Oprah. Showed her the night of, months, night of her life, yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be hilarious. And, like, she, like, she's been, like, big and then, like, skinny and then big and then kind of skinny. So maybe you caught her on, like, a bye week. Could be cool, you know? <coughs> Oprah's not that bad, though. Nah, Oprah's dope. You know? Like, yeah. Michelle Obama ah. or Oprah? I mean... I mean, Michelle Obama might be a, a guy. Yo, I don't know about that. 
No? No, I don't think so. I've seen baby pictures. You've seen her baby pictures? Yeah, she has baby pictures, bro. That's a lot. She's not a man, bro. That's what a lot of people are saying. Yeah, well, people are conspiracy theorists, bro. There's, there's no way Obama's wife is a man. And not because of anything, just because of, like, she's not. Like, I don't think she would. Do it. Like, the Democrats, they'll, they'll say that shit proudly if it was, it was That's the opposite. True. That's true. <laughs> like, they're going to be like, hell yeah, my wife is trans. Like, yeah, they're like, now we have a fighting chance. And they have kids. They have children. I mean, that doesn't mean nothing. It means shit. Again, Democrats, but you know, I'm still, I'm still picking Oprah. Oprah. I don't know, maybe not. Nah, I kind of forget what Michelle Obama looks like. I'm not even gonna lie. Beautiful woman. Really? Yeah. And her prime. She was like Candace Owens. I love Candace Owens. She's the best. She's the best fucking politician. (laughs) I don't know what she is. She's not even a politician. She's the best that was she yeah i love her yeah she's such like a strong woman yeah yeah she's like oh so you gonna call me anti-semitic well let me tell you something like yo mm, keep going yeah Yeah, what a queen yo i love her i love her i love her she has her opinions and she's dope you know who i hate though oh what's that that one guy's name ben shapiro and charlie kirk hate those guys yeah oh i know why you hate ben shapiro well, Ben Shapiro, I just hate because he's a nerd. Yeah. But, but the other guy, Charlie Kirk, he's such a douchebag, yo. He's smart, though. He's a douchebag. He's not smart. Yeah, it's weird that they, like, kind of go to, like, colleges to like, debate, yeah. like, 19-year-olds. Yeah, they're like, hey. They're like, do you not actually know how this country works? And they're like, <laughs> like I don't even know how to use the air fryer. Like, what? You know? So I get that. I get that. For real. These are gonna, like, people like, I can't even do my laundry. They didn't even pay mortgage yet. Like, why are you arguing with these people? Let them get an education. I don't think he's that old, though. I could be wrong. Bro. Charlie Kirk, I don't know how old he is. He's got like a man face and like this like tiny like eyes and like <laughs> mouth and stuff like that. Yeah. He's chill though. But no, they be saying he's some chill. outrageous shit, bro. No, they be he's saying some outrageous. outrageous. Bro, he's outrageous, bro. Nah, he's not outrageous. Be, like, he's, he's outrageous, bro. bro. He's not a bro, bro. He's nah, like, he can uh, he can hang. He's a hoe, bro. Like he's not a bro. Ben Shapiro is more outrageous than Charlie Kirk. Ben Shapiro is just a, a, a geek, bro. He is such a geek. He well, that's say, actually a fact. Yeah. A fact Him and that other guy, what's his name? Destiny? Destiny. Yeah, he's another one, bro. These guys are geeks, bro. They literally just know fucking Destiny. debate with people that, that aren't really, like, debating. Like, they just, they'll give you their opinion, but then they'll just, like, attack them. I hate that shit. I feel like everyone does that because when they have an influence, they, they're politic, like political speakers and they just say some stupid shit it's like i could be here and be like the sky is black and you're like no the sky yeah is i don't black. like that i don't like that all these people are like quote unquote famous because they just have like some weird political stance yeah they're just giving opinions you know and then people are like what the fuck is this they give them like five seconds to speak right and then they'll attack them and be like okay hey, your time is up yeah that's why i don't like most of them but like i feel like charlie kirk is just doing like a radical version of like the bible so that's why I'm like, ah, right, he's all right. No, he's all right. I think I think he's doing too much. Bro. Radical version of a Bible is terrorism, if you think about it. Like too radical. There's like how they say about Islam, same thing. If you're too radical, it's literally too much. Any way you go yeah. is too much. God does not want that. Nobody. Yeah, but if you're too radical Christian, the only person that dies is um, nobody. You know what I mean? If anything, everybody would be fed. And they wouldn't be, oh, gay, gay relationships would die. Not the people, right? Yeah. But but there would be no more, like, you know, guys and guys. There'd be, like, no more clam chowder. There'd be Chick-fil-A's on every corner. But there's also going to be a lot more things because people, when they, a, a book is very powerful no matter what book it is. Right. And people are just, they read something and their mind will go crazy, some people. Yeah, and it could be any religion it could be anything like that but you know there's also people that read it and they're like okay I'm taking the good out of this right that's why I read the dictionary yeah you know what I mean and the encyclopedia mm-hmm. well I read the Bible too yeah that's fine what I'm saying though is not I'm getting but, radical I know you are I know I know you are yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean it's only a matter of time yeah you know yeah what are you gonna do right Imagine like, radical could be good though. No, 
<laughs> well, in your own head. Good. That's why the, 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 the animal rights activists, they're radical, but they think they're doing the right That's thing. What, no, but they're going for a different cause. They're going for, like, animal, like, for us to stop killing you know what I mean? Right. If that's the way someone's going to do it, sure. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure there are some people out there that are like that. But then there's also people that don't care for some people because they don't believe in their faith. Mm. And that's when shit gets... Well, that's weird, too. Yeah, that's too but, much. That's what I mean by radical. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. You can't think like that. It, there's so many people of it, unfortunately. and they're, they're, it, You would think they'd be more converting instead of shunning, Right. Yeah, it's like yo, bro, you guys got it wrong. Come over here instead yeah. of like, yo, you got it wrong. Or accepting, F respecting. You. you know what I mean? No, never that. No, it can never happen because everyone's like, I'm right. No, I'm right. No, I'm right. No, I'm right. No, I'm right. No. And I'm then right. the Scientology just pulls up to the yeah, and they're like, we got proof. They just pulled up <laughs> like this. They're like, actually, they wrote this book fifty years ago. <laughs> Pull up. Or Mormons, yo. Yeah, Mormons too. Like that's not even an old religion. It's the not. guy who wrote Mormons was such a G, too. Yeah. He's like, oh, and Jesus said you could have uh, five wives. Put that in, put that in, put that in. <laughs> and then like, he lost the, the, the things he wrote, and then they... they yeah, they were, like, they were like, all right, well, show us the thing. Show us the like, text. He's like, no, God is mad at me. He's like, no, actually, God said I'm the only one that could interpret <laughs> it. So I don't know what to tell you. But you do have to suck my dick. They're like, what? They're like, that's what he said. That's what he said. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Mormons got it made in the shade. Yeah, Mormons are nuts. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna get attacked by Utah after this one. There's like eight people that live there. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, Mormons. Yeah, they're nuts. Scientology too. Scientology is a scam, bro. I went. I got performed for a Scientologist. <laughs> Yo, you know what I had to do? I, so I was dating this Russian girl at the time, and her uh, mom man. was like a really like famous like it's called a balalaika which is like Whoa. a guitar in russia right it's kind of she was the best player out of russia and i went and i performed with i was playing a little drum and i was wearing a a bear costume <laughs> hey wait, wait, hear me out jeff the hat yeah. or the whole, the, the, whole bear. Bear. the whole bear so uh and i was playing like this drum like boop, 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 you know right. so then the night before, we stayed at a Scientologist church because this performance was for a Scientology group that are Russian. I don't know how they ended up Russian, but anyways, so I walk into the science, bro, this thing looked like a prison. I swear. And like, they had the most basic, like, they gave all their money and they have like the most basic things to eat and like breakfast. It's, it's the most cultiest thing you ever see. Like, they literally give all their money to the church everything they make right and they live off the church so everyone had like their own bunker it was like a prison the breakfast lunch and what dinner they was eat? Just white rice bro something? no for breakfast it was like cereal everyone ate the same cereal what for, bro like for what? lunch cereals? it was like pizza bro it was nuts and these people just had no soul they were just walking around it was freaking what kind crazy. of cereal though it was like life Oh, what? Yeah, bro, I'm serious. That's political itself. It's no. like everybody will eat life cereal. <laughs> so this is your life now. Bro, it, that's it was crazy. nuts. I can't even lie. It was crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> but you performed? Yeah, I performed for them. And then how was that? It was nice. Like, it was cool. There was more people there, but it was just like, it was their, like, group. Did thing. you have to do, like, a prayer thing with them? No, no, no. Luckily, no. They, like, it was up so to some, awkward like, and quiet. Brainwave bro. machine? No, no, none of that, bro. Oh, it, was just, yeah. it was nuts. It was insane. You infiltrated, though. I did not. I didn't know I was going there. It was nuts. But, yeah, that's the show. Wow. Fuck Scientology. That's crazy to just be at a Scientology's place. Dude, bro, they literally just robbed them. Dry. You're like, what kind of church is this? It's yeah. like a lizard and a robot on the wall. Like, it looks like <laughs> Kit Kong versus Godzilla. You're like, where the hell am I? Oh, man. Yeah, that's pretty cool, though. I can't say I did that. No. It was crazy. All right, let's wrap this up now. Scientology.